This is a Move Forever workbook guide. Week 1. Breathe. Another glorious day. The air as delicious to the lungs as a nectar to the tongue. John Muir. Before we start on our movement adventure, take a moment to find a quiet spot and just be still. Try to pay a little attention to your surroundings and yourself. Feel yourself breathing. Breathing is the most primal and primary of all human functions. It happens whether you notice it or not. Movement in its purest form. Try taking a nice deep breath in right now, letting your lungs fill with oxygen rich air. The oxygen is transferred to your blood where it is transported to provide nourishment to every corner of your body. When you breathe out, the cycle completes, ready to begin again. This movement is the continual process of life. When you breathe well, your entire torso expands and contracts with ease. You feel calm, poised and ready to act. Short, shallow breathing can make you feel anxious and agitated, like you're holding on to something, scared to act. Breathing well in life and as you move, has a wonderful way of transforming nerves into excitement. This adventure is supposed to be exciting. If you get stuck at any point, the first thing to do is breathe. Try to notice how your breathing responds to the emotions you feel, particularly when you get to any interesting, exciting or even challenging bits. Getting to know your breathing better makes it easier to engage with every time you go out to move. So let's dive into the workbook and we'll get this week underway. This is the overall layout for the workbook. Plan it, do it and then review it. So let's start with the plan for this week. We're going to focus on three different things this week. Number one, we're going to find the space to breathe and that's the time in the day physical and mental space. Actually getting out there, finding somewhere that makes us feel happy and makes us want to breathe and just breathe. Number two, we also want to pay more attention to our breathing while we're moving, especially when doing things that challenge the breathing. Things like cold water immersion and trail running, the things Laura and I love. And third, we want to get better at appreciating how breathing is linked to our emotions, especially the ability to feel more relaxed by breathing in a more relaxed way, whatever we're doing. So let's see how we got on with some of these this week. running noses and running hills. Here we go. (laughs) 
So it's always good to have a mini review part way through. Anything new coming from what we've done so far? Let's have a look. Well, one of the things we've noticed is that when you get up higher, it can often feel like there's even more breathing space. So let's play around with that a bit over the weekend. Loads of breathing space there. So let's have a quick look back at that week, just to see how we got on. The more space around, the more breathing space within. That sounds profound. Basically, the space around us is in three dimensions. Our breathing is in 3D too. Our lungs expand in every direction. Front, back, top, bottom and sides. Both body and mind are totally involved with and linked strongly to the breathing process. Tuning into our breathing regularly feels like it will provide a great way to help better understand, experience and appreciate that body-mind link. And finally, we're both feeling quite calm and relaxed this week, but we're also feeling energised and ready to go, ready to tackle next week. So breathing will be something to come back to regularly whenever we feel the need to re-energise, whenever we've perhaps pushed it that little bit too far. We might not need to spend a week on it, but maybe a few minutes here or there would be really good. So as for the weekly checks, um, yeah, we're having them all, thank you very much. It's been a good week so far, a good first stab at this. And now it's over to you. Have a go with this yourself. Use Move Forever the workbook, this video and your own experience and intuition to plan out your own week. Then just go about it with a bit of curiosity and make it as enjoyable as you can because that's what it's all about. And don't forget to share your progress in the group. We love to hear about how you're getting on and we want to see your pictures and your videos as well. So, so keep sharing. It's a great place to be and we want to get that community built and going strong. So if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like it, share it with your friends or even subscribe so you don't miss out on future editions. Do remember that Move Forever group on Facebook and also there's the resources page on the website that goes along with all of this as well. That's us for now though. See you next week.